So this is my window where I nurse my plants back to health. A lot of the plants in this window need a little extra help. And a lot of the herbs need to be start over uh, because it's actually too hot here. And I also found out today that aphids found their way inside of the house because of my lemon tree. And uh, as you can see, she is finally giving me some buds in abundance. I have new leaves. So she's alive. As you know, I was really upset when I brought her home and she dropped the leaves and the buds twice. But finally, I got a little something going here. But I actually like the way it looks when I wake up in the morning and I see the plants here, like my hibiscus. So I got to get on the aphids, man, because they're definitely about to pack me away. And my celery is still looking good. I have marigolds forming in the corner over there. This is going to be a lot of mixed greens going on in this section. My watermelon vine is still here doing whatever it's going to do. The aphids actually ate the flowers or whatever kind of bug it is. So I have one watermelon left. And I'm happy to have that one. But... My bell pepper's finally starting to grow, and my okra is making, and I'm about to drop some more okra seeds too. What I'm doing now is I'm actually in the process of, you know, I'm planting in succession basically, so that when I pull up that cabbage, the collard green will come up, and all of my blueberry bushes are here together. And they doing okay. You remember my potatoes there? That's pink celery. I wasn't playing when I said I just watch y'all videos and order seeds all day. And my basil is going to seed. And y'all tell me in the comments how to collect the seeds. If you know how to do it. Because I don't. My grapevine, she looks sick. Uh, I'm going to figure it out. We'll get it together. I switched the spots. So that I could try to get her some more sun. My rosemary looks okay. But this basil is also going to seed. And I'm going to collect the seeds. Yeah, and I put my tree over on this side. Because well, it's tall enough to get the amount of sun that it needs. So I put the grapevine where it can get sun directly. See if it'll look a little better. And over here, these are my bean plants that I planted in succession. And some of the sunflowers Donnie gave me are in there. Also, that's a bucket of corn. My yard long beans are here. I might do those in succession too because I like them. And this is my strawberry plant. I'm telling y'all, the bugs are working on everything and they're working on me. But I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get this cucumber together too. But this, y'all, I'm so happy. This is something that I did myself 100%. And hopefully the marigolds will pop out too. But I'm going to work on uh, getting these to rebloom maybe after I cut them. And then later in the season, I'm going to try to collect seeds. So... I'm learning and I'm trying to put into effect what I learn. Y'all see that lady over there looking at me and my plants? And I told y'all, seeds, I'm, it's going down. I'm getting my greens this year. Y'all going over to my girl Gigi. She got red mustard greens and everything over there on her site. And I believe this came in one of my boxes of winnings. I didn't even realize I won this. You guys, I was in here screaming and dancing when this fell out of the box. So I'm completely blessed. I actually don't have to buy anything at all uh, for my fall garden. I am set up. 
And this is one of those cabbages I was showing you. Uh, I actually cut this down from the stalk. I didn't think it would grow back. It grew back. It grew a whole nother stalk and everything. So <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating. But I do plan to actually grow my own cabbage from seed. And I'll be starting that in a sale. And this one will have to go. But right now, we're just going to keep eating because it keeps growing, right? But um, this has actually been here a while. I've had this. I got this one from Home Depot because it was too late to start cabbage when I started gardening. And it's still here. And this is a, what I do with the stuff I grow. I make seasoning. I take the beans. I put the beans into my stir fry rice or just stir fries in general sometimes I use noodles but this is just the rice with the mixed vegetables and my seasoning a little onions the yard long beans are in there and the more beans the more beans or more vegetables in general that I pull off my patio the less I'll need to buy from the store. But until then, I'll just mix them together and make it work because it tastes good. Really important to me. It makes me happy to go out there and pick stuff and to put it into the food that I cook at home for my family.